A South Jersey church is letting its light shine in a new way. It's saving energy while also saving money. Action News reporter Brian Taff explains. Hope Christian Fellowship Church in Woodbury, New Jersey bills itself as a place with lots of energy. Just don't look to its energy bills as proof. Along with a group of friends, Pastor Mark Ott and his brother Brian bought the building last year. A former synagogue, its prior owners bore witness to the power of prayer, but didn't have a prayer of paying for the power. Annual cost to heat and light the space, about $15,000. When Hope Christian Fellowship took over, Mark turned to Brian, an engineer who travels the world making businesses more energy efficient. I said, Brian, help us out. Uh, and he's, he pointed to us the things that were super easy to do, very low cost, but high impact. And we started with those. Where there were four bulbs, there are now two more efficient ones. New low wattage lamps light the sanctuary. LED spotlights illuminate the stage. Old thermostats gave way to new ones, more accurate. Even the exit signs got an efficiency makeover. The cost, $5,000 money they made back in mere months of slashed bills. And that was just the beginning. It really creates the warmth and the ease for people to not be distracted by other things, but to get the core of why we're here as a church. You know, the, the message that we're trying to get across. The building was constructed in 1962, and according to Pastor Mark, it looked and felt like it. The lighting in this sanctuary was so bad, they say, that some members of the church wore sunglasses during services. The lights were orange. They were high pressure sodium parking lot lights inside the building. The Ott's efforts weren't just noticed by the church's growing membership. Hope Christian Fellowship is now one of just 15 churches in the country ever to get one of these, the Energy Star designation. All told, they're now shaving 35% off their energy costs and yet still shining a light. The money we save gets invested back into people's lives. So, In Woodbury, Brian Taft, Channel 6, Action News.